I'll admit up front that the title leans toward clickbait. However, I could hardly pass up that meme in the header, could I? Anyway, when Joseph Smith died, Brigham Young was in the eastern United States, so he was unaware of the murders of Joseph and Hiram for weeks. A letter from Brigham Young to Willard Richards, dated 8 July 1844, two weeks after Joseph's death, reveals some interesting things. Evidently, Brigham Young does not yet know that Joseph is dead, because he talks about how he loves his brethren and Joseph Smith and Hiram Smith, and prays, my heavenly father, to preserve my brethren, my family, and the whole city. Then he says, I pray that we may finish the temple and get our endowment. Volume 5, number 17 of Times and Seasons, printed 15 September 1844, contained the minutes of a meeting held in Nauvoo on Sunday, September 8th, 1844. In the minutes, Orson Hyde says, Before I went east on the 4th of April last, we were in council with Brother Joseph almost every day for weeks, says Brother Joseph in one of those councils. There is something going to happen, I don't know what it is, but the Lord bids me to hasten and give you your endowment before the temple is finished. This appears to contradict what Young said about praying that we may finish the temple and get our endowment. But remember that immediately before that, Young says, I pray my heavenly father to preserve my brethren, my family, and the whole city, the city being Nauvoo, and then he says, I pray that we may finish the temple and get our endowment. It is possible that Brigham and the rest of the apostles had already received their endowment, including Billard Richards, whom he's writing to, and the we Brigham was referring to was the collective we of the whole city of Nauvoo. A possible corroboration of this view comes from an unlikely place, Joseph and Hiram's brother, Apostle William Smith. By late 1845, William had been forced out of the church by Brigham. To get his side of the story before the public, William printed a broadside published in October 1845, which was reprinted by the Warsaw Signal. In it, he stated, I was present with Joseph at the last council that was held previous to the Twelve and the others going on their electioneering campaign to the East and various other parts of the United States. It was at this time that I received my initiation into the highest priesthood lodge, was washed and anointed and clad with the sacerdotal robe of pure white, and ordained to be priest and king and invested with all the power that any man on earth ever did possess. This seems to be referring to the endowment. If the Twelve had in fact not received their endowment from Joseph, it seems like it would be more effective for William, now a bitter enemy of Brigham, to call him out on the lie but he does not. So it seems likely that Joseph really did have the apostles participate in some kind of ceremony prior to his death. But did that mean that Joseph wanted Brigham to lead the church? After the sentence in the letter about the endowment, Young says something else, which is edited out of the text in the history of the church. Quote, I was glad when I heard the Nauvoo expositor was got along with it gives us a good chance to speak upon such subject. There are a few possible interpretations of this cryptic line. It could mean that Young is glad because it gives him a good chance to speak upon or against the things the expositor was printing, which was exposés of polygamy in Nauvoo. But this is less likely since Brigham would shortly become an even more enthusiastic polygamist than he already was. It could mean that with the expositor out of the way, Joseph could teach polygamy openly, as Brigham would later claim he had taught it to Young and Richards, who, by the way, at this point were already married to several wives each. But this is also less likely, since there's no reason the destruction of the paper would make Joseph change his explicit anti-polygamy stance. There's also the possibility that it would give him the opportunity to speak on the destruction of printing presses, but that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. I think the most likely meaning is that with the public exposure of the expositor forcefully ended by the city council, with Joseph acting as executor, Young and Richards could continue converting others to their secret polygamy group by saying that Joseph wanted it secret, even though they had started it without the knowledge or consent of Joseph. Remember that this line, and this line only, was removed from the copy of this letter in the history of the church. Looking at it from the most favorable light, the line was removed from the church history because the destruction of the expositor led to the murder of Joseph and Hiram, and being glad about that makes Young look very bad. 
but that means that in the best case scenario, people are still deliberately altering the history to make Brigham Young look better. In a worst case scenario, Young and Richards are collaborating to continue their clandestine conjugal encounters. The letter is another good example of why, instead of believing the doctored history of Brigham's polygamy ring, I believe Joseph.